Hey guys, Caroline from carolineventsa.com here today, and I'm going to teach you guys something cool about blogging. So before we get into all of that fun stuff, be sure to like this video, leave a question if you have any in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for a new video almost every single day. Let's get into it. So let's just say that you have an opt-in that people have signed up for, but it's not getting delivered to them. They're not actually seeing it in their inbox. What can you do? So the answer that this person came up with is, should I be using Send Owl or Thrivecart to deliver my opt-in for people so that they can sign up for my list and actually get it? I have a few thoughts. Spoiler, the answer is no. I have a few thoughts about why and how you can set things up a little bit better. Let's go. So the question was, I check my analytics for my freebies and it looks like very few people are actually downloading the freebie inside of the welcome sequence. Does that mean that the emails that I send are going to the spam folder? I'm worried because I don't want my new subscribers to think that I'm uh, scamming them to get them to buy my tripwire. That was an accusation that hurt. Should I deliver the freebies from Send Owl or Thrivecart instead to make sure that they get delivered? Okay. So that was a little bit of a long question, but basically the problem was this person wants to know if they should deliver their freebie via Thrivecart or Send Owl. So um, I can't necessarily speak to Send Owl, but one of the things that I, I believe is that when it comes to delivering your freebies, you should stick with your ESP, which is your email service provider for your freebie delivery. If that is ConvertKit, awesome, love ConvertKit. If it's MailerLite, awesome, go for it. Flowdesk, go for it. ActiveCampaign, Aweber, MailChimp, <laughs> MailerLite. Whatever it is that you are using to deliver your freebies, continue to do that. The reason being is um, having a cart, having a cart, even if it's for a freebie inside of Thrivecart, adds a bunch of steps to your checkout process and it makes people wary when they see it inside of a um, checkout cart situation. One of the things um, that was also a problem was like there's tech issues. Whenever you kind of set something up using an additional platform, there will be tech issues. There just will. So if you're having people opt in by going over to a Thrivecart page and saying, hey, use the code, um, use the code, this is free <laughs> at checkout and you get it for 100% off, um, you will likely still see people who are going to be hesitant to sign up. Not necessarily that they wouldn't get the product, but you see that there will be a more hesitancy in signing up. So that's just something that you need to take into consideration. And... Even if it is free, sending people who have just signed up to your list to a checkout page, it looks kind of scary. I know that that's obviously not what you intended for it to look like, obviously, but is it scary to somebody who's brand new? Yeah. Would it be something that maybe they wouldn't want to be part of? Then yeah. Um, plus, it's also, you have to remember that there's not a lot of customization that will happen afterwards. Can you set up an upsell inside of Thrivecart and or SendOwl? Yes. Can you do a bump where they can click a checkbox and have something added to their purchase? Yes. However, those are additional steps that it's kind of difficult to set up. Just, just take my word for it. It's more difficult to set things up inside of Thrivecart than it is to set things up inside of your email service provider. Stick with them, grow with them, your email service provider, and then use the Thrivecart checkout pages to sell your products. Even inside, and now here's something else, by the way, that I didn't write down, but I want to share with you guys because I've experienced this with my own products. So whenever I have a product that's inside of a bundle, um, obviously I like to give away things for free to people when they sign up for summits so that my email list grows. I'm building trust with these people and I'm giving them something and they're kind of knowing me for that piece of content, that piece of information. It's one of my favorite ways to grow my email list. Um, if you missed that conversation with Krista, that video is on the YouTube channel, 10 out of 10. It's fantastic talking about summits. Um, but back to this, one of the problems is that with Thrivecart, when I had people checking out, they would still have to put in their credit card information. Reason being is that if I had a bump or an upsell, which is after they've gone through that first page, it's kind of like the tripwire. It's the Thrivecart version of a tripwire. So they're going to a different page and they get to add something to their cart with just one click, one additional click. 
The problem with that was that for this free product that they wanted to get for free, understandably so, by the way, understandably, they don't want to put in their credit card information for a free product. They had to put in their credit card information. And a lot of people left that checkout page without ever signing up for this free product because it is intrusive to put in your credit card information when you're like, this is free. What are you going to do with this piece of information? I don't know who you are from Adam. Like, why am I giving you my credit card info? And so a lot of people, I was seeing that even for this free product, my bounce rate on that page was very, very high. Bounce rate, meaning people showed up and left. People showed up on the page and left. Even though it was a free product, the second that they saw that they had to put in their information, they were out. And so what I discovered was that if you add a bump, which is the checkbox inside of um, Thrivecart where you're saying like, add this to my purchase, or an upsell, which is the second page after they've gone through the first page checkout, even for a freebie, again, they're still going to have to put in their information for those pages. If you remove the bump and the upsell, they will not have to put in their credit card information if the product is free. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of having this as a free thing if I can't offer a bump or an upsell slash tripwire. And so it was a big like struggle of trying to figure out how we can make this work. And we wanted doing it just inside of like an email sequence instead of doing it as an upsell. Um, but this is something that when we're talking about building that product ladder, building those steps of getting people to sign up for a freebie and then an upsell slash tripwire and then the product and then the upsell to that product. When we're talking about building that kind of a sequence, that kind of a, a product ladder, having a place to actually sell people the tripwire is kind of important. And so when things like this happen, where before people even sign up, they're opting out because they don't want to put in their credit card information for a free product. It just makes the whole process a lot more difficult and you're building a lot more problems for yourself by doing it. So should you set up your freebies to deliver through uh, Thrivecart, like for your regular email list? No. Use whoever it is that's your email service provider and deliver it directly from them. That's the, the long and short of it. Because otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of people who are calling you a scammer. And you're like, I, it's, it's still a free product. Like, I didn't know that it was asking people to put in their credit card information for the free product. But then actually, like when you think about it, like you add the bump by clicking yes. And you add the upsell by clicking yes. So it makes sense that they would have to have the credit card on file if they say yes to the bump or the upsell. But it was still just like one of those, like, I did not know that that happened. And it was a really, really rude wake up call. So 10 out of 10, do not recommend setting that up for free inside of inside of Thrivecart or even Send Owl. So there it is. All right, guys, I hope that you learned a lot from that. Don't forget to check out the links inside of the description below to sign up for some cool freebies that you can get. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it and leave any questions that you have in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want a new video every single day we post a new video every single day so i will see you guys next time bye